time tomorrow, we could have a new pope. The papal conclave will begin in Vatican City Tuesday morning when 115 cardinals will pick a new spiritual leader of the world's 1.2 billion Catholics. Chris Flanagan joins us with the latest on the voting process. Chris, what are the chances that a new pope is named tomorrow? Well, Lee, technically it could happen realistically. Probably won't. Now, if history is any indication, don't expect a whole lot of drama on day one. For starters, there's only one voting session set for tomorrow. That's 5 p.m. local time or 11 a.m. here in Ohio. Now, in recent conclaves, popes have been selected after at least two days of balloting. Meanwhile, today in Rome, workers are making final adjustments to the Sistine Chapel, where the cardinals will participate in a mysterious ritual to select a new pope. The cardinals will take an oath of silence and then be given rectangular ballots with the words, I elect a supreme pontiff written in Latin. Cardinal Wilfred Napier of South Africa says it is a very emotional event. When you go with your ballot paper in your hand and hold it up in front of the altar and say, I call on the Lord Jesus who will be my judge to witness that I'm, I'm uh, voting for the one I believe to be worthy. That's really a moment of uh, intense, I'd say, emotion. During the voting process, cardinals will often write in what is called disguised handwriting to ensure anonymity after the ballot is turned in. The winner will need two-thirds or 77 of 115 votes. Now, if nobody receives the required two-thirds majority, the votes, they're burned. Black smoke signals they've not reached a decision. White smoke, that's good news. That means the Cardinals have elected a brand new pope. So what traits are you looking for in a pope? And what changes do you want to see in the Catholic Church? Join the discussion on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Flanagan WEWS. On your side, I'm Chris Flanagan, News Channel 5.